Welcome to the race. That's what announced and soon to be announced candidates in the GOP race seem to be saying. But one drew some sharp differences between himself and John Huntsman Jr. Brian Malahi on that part of the story for us today. And Brian, what are some of the other contenders saying about this big announcement today? Well, we spoke to three of them and none of them had a critical word for John Huntsman. Still, you could not miss this from Lieutenant Governor Spencer Cox. There are lots of differences um, between us. Lieutenant Earl Governor Cox. Let's just ambassador. jump in. Drawing distinctions with the former governor, ex-presidential candidate and global ambassador. I was born and raised on a small farm in, in, in a town that lots of people haven't heard of. We still live on that farm. Cox noted differences over backgrounds, wealth, and time in the state. I'm a guy who's been in every part of the state, every corner of the state, um, while he's been in, in Moscow and China. And there are important things happening over there. But that's that's going to be the, the distinction. And I'm undeterred by today's news. I'm, I'm moving forward. Expected candidate Greg Hughes plans to announce he's in too. Does Huntsman getting in make it tougher for you? I think it makes it, I think it makes it tough for everyone. I think it makes the race harder. And I just, I don't see that as a bad thing. Candidate Amy Winder Newton, fine with Huntsman jumping in, thinks as many as seven candidates could be in the June Republican primary, and the winner may get just a fraction of the vote. People in the race or people expected to get in the race say they're staying with John Huntsman now, a candidate for Utah governor. Jeff Birmingham, another candidate, we reached out to him today. Others thought to be in the mix, speculated to be in the mix. Thomas Wright. And Spence Eccles, Brian Malahi, downtown. All right, Brian, thanks. Interesting point here. Governor Gary Herbert has previously endorsed Lieutenant Governor Spencer Cox and has not made any suggestion that he plans on changing that endorsement. He issued a statement today saying, Jeanette and I have a high degree of regard and respect for the Huntsman family. We are sure John will acquit himself well on the campaign trail. It will be up to the people of Utah to decide who their next governor will be. We'll have continuing coverage.